In this video, we will show you how to replace your downstream O2 sensor on this Ford F-150 with a 3.5 liter engine. You're going to have one of these on each side of your vehicle, and the process is pretty much the same. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Locate your downstream O2 sensor. It's going to be in the same spot on either side of your vehicle. It's on the catalytic converter. You can see it right here. Now, before we start removing the O2 sensor from your catalytic converter pipe, we're going to want to follow that wiring harness all the way up towards the transmission. As you make your way up, typically you're going to find some sort of mounting point for the wiring, so we'll just go ahead and pull that right up and out of there. Continuing on, you want to disconnect the electrical connector. For this, typically there's a locking tab. You want to go ahead and squeeze that in and dislodge it from each other. Some O2 sensor connectors will have a red locking tab that you also have to dislodge. This one does not appear to have one. Make our way right up in here. We'll press in on this locking tab. Slide it out of place. If you find you have a hard time pressing on the tab and getting it to release, you can use a small pick or a small screwdriver along the opposite side where that locking tab is. There should be a small tab that you can gently pry out and away from the other portion of the electrical connector. in through the back side here, right through this little port. Once you have that disconnected, just a quick inspection of both sides of that electrical connector. If you see any corrosion, that needs to be dealt with. At this point, the electrical harness is disconnected. We can go ahead and remove the O2 sensor from our catalytic converter pipe. To remove the O2 sensor, you're going to want to have an O2 sensor socket. That O2 sensor socket will have a slot going through it for the wiring harness. Once that's broken free, go ahead and turn that counterclockwise to remove it from the catalytic converter pipe. There it is, friend. Before installation, let's clean and inspect the mounting port where our brand new O2 sensor will sit. I'm using some fine sandpaper for this. It's important to note you never want to use parts cleaner in this area. All right, let's get ready to install that brand new O2 sensor. We're going to start by installing this into the catalytic converter pipe. Start it in by hand so you're sure it's not cross-threading into the wrong position. As you're installing this, you want to be careful not to twist the wiring harness to the point you cause damage. Once you have this bottomed out, the torque is 35 foot-pounds. Double check, make sure that's secure. Let's continue on to that electrical connector. Let's bring this up into position, align it, listen for a click as we press it in. There's a click, a little tug. You need to make sure that's properly secured, otherwise you will have a check engine light in a running condition. We'll continue on with that wiring harness. We're going to bring it up and over the mounting point here, preventing it from falling down onto the hot exhaust or getting damaged in any way. Okay, friend, we finished the installation of our downstream O2 sensor. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the process for one is the exact same thing as the other. After you've completed your installation, you can go ahead and make your way out from under the vehicle, start up the vehicle, let it run for a while, make sure you have no check engine light, no running condition, and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.